Hey, hey, I'm back again. I'm still walking this road here I was built by my, neighbor, my neighbors. Getting further up to the top here. It's so beautiful. So I was a bit, getting a bit overgrown here. Maybe I should help them out. I did help them out with some work a couple of years ago. So, and again, my friends, all my viewers, or whatever you want to call yourself, freedom lovers. I actually didn't think about any topic for this this clip, clip video. Uh, I see that my last one was probably a bit long. Yeah, I should cut it shorter. So, many of you have probably watched this guy, Bjorn Andreas, Bull Hansen, YouTuber. He a lot of great videos, a lot of different varied pro topics, etc. So, I watched a lot of his videos and I'm half, I don't want to go into the same or similar topics as him. But I'll leave a link in the description on this video to his channel. You should go and, and watch all his videos. And uh, yeah, I think that should be the topic of this this uh, this clip here is is people who actually share a bit about freedom. And as I mentioned earlier, in another video, I I ran this blog called Without State in Norwegian, and it was it was fun. It was like a learning. It's a way, way of learning myself, right? To getting deeper into the the topics of these scenes and sitting there translating from English to Norwegian. And then, uh, yeah, before that, there were so many YouTubers and podcasts I was listening to. And, and at a certain point, you just, your philosophy becomes a bit set in a way because you find yourself. And I said this on a podcast interview I did with Tim for the Free Cities Foundation. But I don't think people change. I just think we find ourselves in a way. And I think that's what's happened to me myself. It's like I the way I am I was sort of set a long time ago when I was really young. And there are some experiences when I was younger, so I think that was instrumental to make me the person I am today. I'm also not a big believer in stuff like free will. I don't think like we have so much freedom that we believe we're basically just autonomous being on this path to wherever things are leading and taking us so i just wanted to give a shout out to all those people i've been watching and listening to i won't mention any names here maybe i'll put some links to various ones uh, still believe creates good content and um, yeah, I don't know if my content here will bring any value to anyone, uh, but it's a way of clearing my own mind and sharing some thoughts and coming up with things that I haven't haven't thought in a while. I've actually reached the top here now on this road. I'll show you all. Here we go. Now this is basically the top road ends here and uh, yeah, let me show you my walking stick. I have a beaver stone close to my cabin where I'm living right now and um, I'll, uh, I'll just make another video and show that uh, how much damage in a way, I wouldn't call it damage. It's the way of life, it's nature. So my neighbor actually mentioned to me a few years ago that there used to be a lot more uh, alks or moose, whatever you call them, where you live. Uh, but then they're doing so much hunting and they killed kill a lot of them. But before they used to grass on the marsh down here and it was much more open. Now it's over, getting overgrown. And that's kind of sad. I think like, in general, Norway is getting so overgrown when you go outside of the cities and and main like towns and everything. Go into the forests, like 
everything's just overgrown. You don't have old trees though, like everything not, is not always fairly new. And it's very, it's monotonous forests. It's not a big, a lot of big variation because it's been, it's been developed for so many years, many generations. So like the trees on, around me here, this, everything here has been cut down previously by former generations. And uh, yeah, so with that, I think this video is over. Uh, uh, yeah, let's say that. Okay, until next time, peace and love to everyone. Bye-bye.